this is the briefing for the pre-assignment task ex titled Exploring a Big Data Set. Data set. This is a task that comes before the assignment, the actual assignment, so that you'll be able to uh, appreciate the data analysis process uh, once you've uh, completed the assignment task later. So there are two data sets in this pre-assignment task. The first is the weather data set, and that comes from the WMKB weather station. And this data set is titled, uh, as written here, the MES underscore data underscore WMKB dot CSV file. Now, a CSV file is the same as an Excel file, except for the format of uh, separating the, the columns and the data set. The data inside the data set is a comma, and that's why it's called a comma separated file. The second data file is the class underscore PM10 underscore data dot CSV file, and this is the air pollution data. So the mess underscore data is the weather data while the class underscore PM10 data is the weather, the air pollution data. Now the instructions for this pre-assignment task is for you to download the data and the data is in the environmental forensics e-learn class. Second is after you finish downloading data, you export the data using Excel or any other spreadsheet program that you are comfortable with just to see how many columns there are, how many parameters there are and how are they arranged. Third is for you to merge the data according to date because uh, the, both are time series data. While the while one has a different duration and the other has a different duration, but you can actually merge the data set because they have the same. I mean, with, with between both of them, there are overlaps of dates, so you can actually merge them um, between these two data sets. So it becomes one data set. The linking parameter between the other parameters is the date. After you finish merging the data set, you, sh you should try to understand the data by um, doing some exploratory data analysis on it. So I give here a few questions that you can begin to, um, to answer so that you'll be able to understand the data better. The first question is you, can, uh, you should um, be able to answer how many missing values are there in the data. Uh, the second question is what are the ranges of the parameters? For example, temperature. Well, what is the minimum temperature? What is the maximum temperature? What is the average temperature? Uh, that's for one of the parameters. The third question is, are the pra parameters correlated? So um, are you able to find correlation between different parameters, such as temperature and PM10 concentration? Uh, the next step is that is uh, prepare some plots to support your answer. So uh, you've answered all these uh, questions here. So can you provide evidence to support those questions or those answers to those questions. For example, if you find that there is correlation between temperature and uh, PM10 concentration, uh, put uh, create that scatter plot and draw the regression line between the data to show that there is uh, correlation. That's one example. So you can prepare other plots too, such as time series plots and so on. After you're done, you can write a brief report on the steps you have taken. So the, I, the, the emphasis here is actually on the steps and not the, the results because this is just a warming up uh, task before you go to your actual assignment later. So uh, here we just uh, want you to work on the, the steps that you would take if you were to run such an analysis. So write a, like a brief report on those steps instead of the actual results. Uh, the results is, is secondary in for this as task. And uh, you can also include plots that you've created in the uh, that you have created and I put there in the text box below because you would be putting all these values uh, all these uh, steps and also the plots you can cut and paste the plots into the text box in the e-learn lesson uh, the contents of the report is entirely up to you it's a free flow free form uh, report so you you can put whatever you feel is necessary or needed inside the report inside the report too you should list down the challenges that you have encountered while trying to explore the data set so you can uh, say, for example, that it was difficult to merge the data or you couldn't find any correlation, there's too many missing data, and then you cannot find what is the best way for you to actually merge it uh, to average system parameters so that it links with the other parameter. So you, you can list those down. Um, those are just some examples that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, the last step will be, oh yeah, this is not really a step, but it's just information. You'll be given a grade, although it's a minimal grade, but still there'll be some uh, grades that would be given here to show effort that you've uh, you put effort into this. But I suggest not for you to spend too much time on this because this is not the main assignment. So um, I know that it might not be enough time, but I, you should only spend at most only two hours working on this because the idea of this task is just 
to increase your appreciation towards the data analysis uh, steps and also to uh, for you to realize some of the um, difficulties in actually analyzing the data set that comes from multiple sources and large volumes of data.